All right, so what if it were possible to make your already green car like the Toyota Prius even more ozone-friendly? By adding even more batteries and grid charging, you get the Prius Plus, a plug-in hybrid. Check out calcar.org to find out how, or better yet, see it in action in this next pod. I'm uh, Ryan Fulcher. We're converting my Toyota Prius into a plug-in uh, Toyota Prius, a plug-in hybrid. Uh, we're doing it because I want to have a choice about what fuel I put in my car. The neat thing about the plug-in hybrid is that it's still a regular gas car. You can drive it to Grandma's place. Uh, but for your commutes, you know, 20, 30 miles, uh, don't need to use gas. Plug-in hybrids are pretty important, either as a transitional technology or maybe as the final solution, uh, to give people the option of using an alternative fuel source, electricity, uh, to displace some gasoline use. The benefit of that is that that electricity is cheaper. It's uh, under a dollar a gallon instead of three dollars a gallon. It's cleaner. It's far lower in greenhouse gases. And it's domestic. Electricity does not come from imported oil comes from a lot of domestically powered sources. The answer is an absolutely yes. We are shifting pollution from a tailpipe into a power plant, but we are producing much less pollution with those power plants than with individual tailpipes. Even on the national grid, which is about 50% coal, the greenhouse gas emissions are about 45% less with electrically powered vehicles than with a standard gasoline powered car. And these cars are only gonna get cleaner as the grid gets cleaner. Each of these gray modules is six nickel metal hydride cells. They're all wired in series back and forth for the total pack voltage, 201.6 volts. Uh, we're going to be putting in uh, lead acid batteries, uh, 19 of them. Uh, they're 12 volts a piece. Uh, it'll be slightly higher voltage than the stock battery pack. It's amazing how those people pull together. It happened with my car a year and a half ago, and it's happening in this uh, weekend. It isn't that we need research projects and spend lots of time still developing things. We have all the components that's necessary to rapidly change our transportation energy. And at CalCars, our purpose is to get the auto companies to actually do this. The more we keep a, a dialogue going, the more we're going to recognize uh, that we need to uh, have solutions right now and that there are solutions available right now. The result of the, uh, of the Maker Fair, we hope, is going to be that uh, anyone who has an 04 or 05 Prius can take that information, locate a knowledgeable engineer who's comfortable with uh, high voltage systems, uh, and together they can convert their car into a plug-in hybrid. And the whole point of that is to give people some way to participate in this and to show car makers how many people really want these cars. Everyone wants to drive electric cars, they just don't know it yet. So I'm just trying to show them how much they'll enjoy it.